Hello guys, welcome back to the S3D Hobby Shop and this is going to be a review of the Bandai 30 Minutes Missions. Well, technically Bandai Plamo. Plamo stands for Plastic Models. 30 Minutes Missions. Rabia Orange. So, of course, this line of uh, model kits have nothing to do with any other property. It's just, you know, uh, robots. <laughs> and yeah, a lot of people have been asking me, like, what do I, what do I think about this line of uh, products? Uh, to be honest with you, uh, this is actually the most fun I have uh, with building model kits uh, ever since I got into building model kits. Uh, the thing with Plamo, uh, 30 minutes mission, it's, you know, um, anybody can get into this. You know, I see like tabletop gamers who are in building uh, these 30 minute mission kits. I see people uh, from the action figure community like Team at 978 you know, he uh, got himself a couple alto uh, models that he built um, so he seems to enjoy it very much he gave me a shout out on his channel a while back uh, about these uh, uh, you know 30 minutes mission model kits you know it's like a thing where like you know you don't have to uh, be invested in any sort of uh, you know uh, like you know you don't have to be invested into like you know the lore of uh, whatever it is that 30 min minutes mission is part of to enjoy the kit. It's not like Gunpla where you have to like, oh, I have to know s about this universe, about that universe. And then you also have to deal with like the drama <laughs> surrounding the Gunpla community. Uh, you know, there's like 40 years of like dirty laundry from that universe of from that genre that a lot of people just don't want to, you know, deal with. Uh, with you know, 30 minute mission, you start out fresh. There's no nonsense. You just go at it and, you know, build whatever you want. And you don't let people tell you how to build <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> you know, unlike the Gunfly community where people are often criticized about the way they build a model. You have to deal with elitist modeler and all kind of nonsense. There's none of that here. It's just straight up building uh, plastic model kits for fun. That's all it is. So yeah, anyway, uh, with that being said, you know, uh, I have to say this is, this line is, you know, just designed for uh, customization. Take a look. I got a couple of customs that I just put together, you know, in minutes. <laughs> Less than 30 minutes. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's it's actually really fun. Yeah. I, I think uh, if it's not for uh, the 30-minute mission line, this plumber line, I would probably have given up uh, building model kits at this point. You know, this one is actually 581, and, uh, you know, um, as long as people keep commissioning these customs, I'll keep making them. <laughs> but I'm, I'm kind of, I'll be honest, I'm kind of done with Gunpla. I'm done with, like, all the nonsense, you know, all the, uh, I mean, yeah, let's just face it, there's a lot of nonsense with Gunpla. But, uh, you know, 30-minute mission, I don't have to worry about any of that. So anyway, uh, I talk about the box, I talk about the instructions, let's just go straight to the uh, Rabia. So anyway, uh, that introduction is like a freaking ridiculous introduction. You can see uh, the Rabia is based on the Alto, and you can see a lot of similarities. Of course, this Alto here is actually a custom. This guy actually stands a little bit taller than the Alto. Obviously, it's also wider because of the chest section and armor. So yeah, he's uh, just a little bit taller than the uh, Alto, but you know, you, you see the similarities. Apparently, they are both part of the Earth Alliance, which, uh, you know, like Bandai is trying to make up a, a lore for these kind of stuff, which I don't think they need to, because, you know, that's just gonna eventually create, like, its own fan universe. And then with fan universe, you're just gonna get, like, freaking unnecessary drama. <laughs> which takes away the fun of it. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Okay, so anyway, um, there you go. That's the Rabia. Uh, I really like the armor. You know, the articulation is exactly the same as the Alto. But uh, we're going to go over the articulation. So first off, we have uh, this weapon right here, which is a shotgun. Now, this shotgun can be modified. So you take off the tip here. And you attach this piece, and then you can attach various other attachments, like, you know, the barrel from the, uh, 
um, the alto or the barrel from the uh, Porta Nova. Like you can do that. I don't have any of those, so unfortunately I can't do that for you. So you know, you just have to take my word for it. So that's a shotgun. Uh, it's got this uh, unique backpack with these connector ports, connector uh, joints. Uh, these are for like those hinges, which apparently is very popular with 30 minute mission kits. Yeah, this is like their prior, pri uh, what's a proprietary <laughs> uh, hinge system. It's like you got that one here, you got here, and all that. Uh, basically, you just clip on those like joint parts with, and then you have articulation and stuff like that. I really like this uh, head head piece right here. This is actually pretty cool. So you get a visor underneath here, and when you take off the mask, uh, this is actually really really nice. Reminds me of like an old school gym but cooler and this thing just reminds me of like a you know a heavier armored up gym like a power gym a uh, heavy gym which is something i made up <laughs> but anyway let's go over the articulation real quick uh you have this ankle armor gimmick just like the alto and the porta nova which is pretty cool you can interchange that we also have the ball joint here for the feet got the ankle rocker right here we got the double joint the knee right there uh yeah this this is it goes pretty far he can't kick his own butt but who cares and then uh, we also got this uh, hinge system right here for the uh uh the leg just like the porta nova uh, and the alto we also have the universal joint right there and then this uh ball joint poly cap that connects it to the thigh got the uh, uh, side skirt got a ball joint on the waist allows you to rotate a ball joint in the chest Allows you to rotate that, go side to side, up and down. Now, if you remove this piece, you have five hard points here for you know armor attachment. And yeah, this thing works with the uh, Alto and the Porta Nova, I believe. So there we go. We got the shoulder armor, which are just attached via this uh, connector, like right here. You see the ball joint connector. You have a little space here so the armor can clip on. Got the uh, shoulder function right there the butterfly function got the hinge here for the shoulder we got the bicep swivel uh, unfortunately only single bent elbow however it's more than 90 degrees and you have the ball joint for the wrist and there's articulation here for this shoulder armor piece like that so you can angle it up so the arm can go perpendicular like that with the shoulder armor without the shoulder armor you can go crazy <laughs> And go like that if you want to so which is kind of weird I don't think you want to do that but whatever <laughs> I mean if you buy the kid you can do whatever you want I don't care what you do with it <laughs> all right uh, I don't know the color it's uh it depends you know I'm pretty sure they're gonna uh, re uh, release every other color every other color for the Rabiat so if you're not painting, then, uh, you know, just wait for the color that you like and get that. Uh, if you want to paint, then it doesn't matter which one you're buying. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to paint this guy into this color, so I don't really care. And since these are commissions anyway, really, really doesn't matter. So there we go. There is the 30-minute uh, mission Rabia. And again, like I said, you know, these 30-minute mission is like, you know, th these are designed for like everybody. Well, everybody except for little kids, <laughs> because we don't have those people here. We only have adult collectors on this channel. So, uh, you know, if you watch channels like, uh, it was a uh, Bad Gumpla. Uh, he often talk about, you know, building model kits. Uh, you know, you sit like, you know, you, you clear your mind and you don't have to think about, uh, you know, a lot of like, you know, stuff like social political uh, drama and nonsense like that. Well, yeah. Uh, that's something you can do, but you know when it comes to the Gundam universe, like I said, there's like 40 years of dirty laundry on this universe, and you know when you're building a Gundam, oftentimes you just have to think about a lot of the lore and a lot of the nonsense associated with the gun plot and also drama, <laughs> either between the fan within the fandom or you know all kind of nonsense. But uh, you don't have to worry about any of that here when it comes to 30 minute mission. So. So, uh, I definitely recommend checking these guys out, whether if you're new to building uh, model kits or if you're just, you know, tired of building, like, you know, 
Gunpla in general. I mean, these are really easy to put together. You, uh, you, you can actually put one together in less than 30 minutes. So, you know, people who don't have time to build like, you know, complicated master grades or even high grades anymore, uh, you can, you, you don't have to invest a lot of time to put one of these together. And it's actually a lot of fun. So, all right. So with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and end this video. I hope you guys find the information helpful. Thanks for watching.